Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're one battle away from the infamous Battle of Wujong Plains, so we're going to do the Battle of Jia Ting first. Okay, so our commander here is Sima Yi, and the Shu Forces commander is Ma Su, who is a student of Zhuge Liang. So obviously we got to surround him. Now, am I comfortable with this item setup? I actually am very comfortable with this. Okay, so those are my stats so far. So far, so good. Well, actually, that, I think that's my bodyguards are this kind of set. No, no, that's Zha Dun's stats. So he can only level up so far. Like, even if you tried to get as much Muso 1 as possible, it's not going to go beyond this point. So yeah, your stats will get capped out depending on how much you can collect. That being said, however, let's take a look at their units, and they have very few. Wang Ping over there, Gao Xiang over here, and Liao Hua over there. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we should have this in the bag. All we have to do is surround Masu, and then we got it won. Alright, welcome to Yang surround Province. Masu's camp at the summit. Seal the base without being detected by the enemy. Or maybe they just won't live long enough to be a witness. That's gonna be the our plan, boss. Strong. Okay, and they seem to have good morale. So I guess by taking out the uh, sub generals around here, John Hu's always in massive danger already. We just started this mission, for God's sakes, get it together, man! We didn't just recruit you for nothing, well, technically recruited you back in Guangdu, but that's besides the point. We didn't unlock him until beating Cherubi! For Zhang He, I believe his specific requirements to unlock him is 11 stages you have to defeat in the way of campaign. Other than that, you can just do the Battle of Guangdu by trying to infiltrate the camp, or the supply depot, and there you go. That's another way to do it. I'm surprised Sima Yi actually brought his son with him, Sima Zhao. Good for him. Okay, so I should get to the other camp as well. Because we can't really get to Masu over there because that gate is locked. So we have to go around the long way. But first, I believe there's a stat up around here. Let me check. There's like five pots. It's like Link's wet dream. So yeah, my Muso can't go up any higher, unfortunately. I kinda wish they had some stables over here so I can take a horse. But no such luxury. So hopefully Zhang Hun doesn't get himself killed out there. Because he's quite useful. Saren I couldn't care less about, but we do need him regardless. Oh, there's Liao Hua. Good, I was asking for a horse. Take out the guard captain. And then we dispatch him. Liao Hua, I mean, he's not exactly a popular character, but he's always been there. Like, he served Shu for quite a long time. Even at the end of the Jin campaign, he was there. So I gotta admire his commitment. <laughs> Says the one that's already behind. Quickly and quietly, this is a battlefield. There's no such thing as stealth. We're not gonna ASMR this mission here. Okay, so you get to the camp now. Everybody's dying. It, it, it doesn't work. And I got knocked off my horse. Nice job. This is all your fault, John Ha. Huh? I like your moves and all, but seriously, you could've helped out a bit more. At least my bodyguards aren't letting me down anymore. Okay, is there something else around here? Like another stat up? No, it's probably gotta go further down. I don't think you can get any extra speed when you're already on your horse. Oh yeah, crossbowmen. I think they gotta go first. That'll make this battle a lot easier. Alright, so once that's done, we can finally go after Masu and defeat him. Uh, let's 
We all have a massive amount of troops here. Oh, good, an item. Who's that to kill anyway? Hey man, what's up? I imagine so. Flowers need water, and these flowers have none. Let us move now with elegance, grace, and beauty. All right, the shoe forces are gonna lose their flower to us. No way, that sounds wrong. All that is left is to defeat my. Uh, don't don't take it that way, guys. How can I face the prime minister after this? I must lay at least one blow on Simagin. Oh, he's gonna try to face Simagin himself, huh? Okay, that's your death wish. I'll just have to cut you off. I'm on my way. Okay, at this point I should get to Masu before he gets to our camp. Thank God I took a horse. Because I don't have my uh, speed scroll with me. Yeah, I definitely decided that once I finish this campaign, I'm going to do Lu Boos next. Because at least I'll be able to unlock some horses that way. Please do all you can to rescue Masu. Yeah, this would be a dead one. Yeah, he's being getting his ass kicked by someone who only has one eye. That's it, bodyguards. Take him down. Or I guess I'll have to. Oh, nice. Who was it? I think it was Thomas that got him. Good job, Tom. He's taking out Masu for me. Okay, now I believe Shu has more forces as reinforcements. So, yeah. Alright, who's left now? Oh god, there's like several on the other side, too! Zhuge Liang's there with Yue Ying. Wei Yan's over there, and Zhao Yun is probably gonna head to our camp! Yep, we better cut him down. Again. That guy just does not know when to quit. So I guess we're gonna have to force him. Will I do the other campaigns, like such as Shu? Eventually I will. I gotta do Wu's again, just to unlock two other characters, and as well as their Tails levels. So I might do the Wu campaign maybe a total of three or four times as different people, just for the sake of getting these extra levels. That being said, at least it'll make this Let's Play interesting. Alright, Zhao Yun, let's dance. One of us is gonna get knocked off each other's horse. Oh my god. Like, this is just nuts. You know, I'm getting off. So are you! That's it, everybody go after him. Where is he anyway? I don't see him. Where'd he go? Is he fighting my bodyguards? Yeah, he is. He actually did a very good job. I am impressed with their work. I mean, Zhao Yun is a very strong warrior. He is one of the Shu Tigers, after all. Who are the other four? I think uh, Guan Yu is one. Uh, Zhang Fei might be one. Uh, there's Zhao Yun, Huang Zhang, and Ma Chao, yes. For the sake of my lord, I cannot fall. No, you'll just have to fall on Wuzhang Plains. If we meet again there, of course. And I don't be surprised if we will. There was an elixir around here that I left behind. Oh, there it is. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take Whitey. Huh, idiot. Okay, so now our new objective is to defeat Zhuge Liang. Where is he anyway? Is that him over there? No, that's probably Wei Yan. Yep, now I better get to him. I'm not letting any officers near our main camp. Not that I don't trust him, he's just that I trust myself more. Wei Yan is probably not even doing anything. He might be battling some troops. But he's not doing much else. 
except eventually falling to me. Alright, way on, let's dance. Oh, jeez. Thank God I was already down. Hey, guys, can you take out the other troops so I can focus on him? I kind of like a way on his voice in this game. It reminds me of Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. So like, I'll get you, Gadget, next time. It just sounds so barbaric. All he knows is battle. Here, I'll take this horse. I feel like Lloyd Irving that I get bored with horses. Right, now's our chance to defeat him. Alright, so where is he to? He's over here, I guess. So I'll probably run into Yue Ying first. Or more crossbowmen. Excuse me? Oh, actually, that's a compliment, thanks. No, but he'll definitely defeat you! And your wife! Ow. Thanks, I've already taken enough our arrows to the face, thank you very much. Oh jeez. Yes, yes. Ah. Uh, I only got like less than 30 seconds left on this. Haha! <laughs> How do you like that, Jugaliang? I just kicked your wife's ass! I must withdraw for now, my husband. He's like, I'm gonna go home and get some dinner on the stove! Don't wait up now or get killed, Jugal Young! Alright, so far so good. Hmm, this might be an opportunity to go get the dim sum. And I believe it's all the way in the southeast. So I guess I can afford to uh, waste some time and actually head to that area. But first, I'm gonna need to clear out as many troops as I can. You will not break through our forces. The dim sum should be around here. If I remember correctly, it said top right corner. Nope, that's meat. There's the dim sum. I think Jahodun is maxed out on health now for stat gainage. So now that I got some extra attack, now's the time to finish this. Oh, now I know where those troops came from. It's from a a stronghold, of course. I got a little bit of time left on this thing. At least Jugalee Hung is making it easy by coming to me. It's too bad he blocked everything. Except that, and that, and that. I believe I have bought enough time. Only to lose in Wuzhang Plains. Oh yeah, he dies there in real life. Alright, let's reap the rewards and hopefully we got some good items out of that. I doubt it because we barely got any. Yeah, two and they were useless. The seven star stat sash man, it's not kicking in as much as I would like to. Alright, we almost got this act defeated. The Wei forces succeed in both defending Mount Dingjun and taking Jie Ting. Since most of Shu is treacherous mountain terrain, once key supply routes and roads are taken over, it becomes difficult for their forces to mobilize. Zhuge Liang wagers the fate of Shu on one final battle. By way of a forced march through the mountains, the Shu forces reach Wuzhang Plains. From there, it is just a short distance to the capital of Chang'an to the east. Alright, it's time for us to stop the video right here, and in the next episode, the infamous battle of Wuzhang Plains. See ya, everyone.